Hello? Hello, anybody there? Aries, can you hear me? Hello? All right, probably she's getting ready. All right, just in camera. There we go. Hello, Aries. Hi. How you doing? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm right. good. Thank Great. you. Great. How was it? I only want to explain. Sometimes I my laptop is turn turn off. It turns off. The battery have oh, problem. Oh, I see. I see. And yeah. uh, have you tried? Uh, have you tried uh, doing this? You know, people say this, that uh, if a battery is not working, you put it back, you put it in the fridge, in the freezer for a day or two. And the lithium in the battery goes back to its shape. And the, it, really? <laughs> yes, but I don't know. I heard, I never, I've never tried. <laughs> I'm afraid the battery is gonna blow in my freezer. But, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what people say, you know, that, that uh, lithium, you know, the, the liquid or the, the, the material batteries are made of, uh, it, it, it loses its uh, shape, you know, with, with, the, with the use, with the time. So yeah. when, when it loses its, its shape, it, it, starts, uh, it, it start, starts giving trouble. So people say that if you put it in the freezer, the lithium, a lithium goes back to the original shape and it works like magic again. Well, okay. that's what people say. I don't know if it's actually true. Um, I, yep, think, you can try. I think maybe in uh, batteries, um, so uh, I don't know, um, maybe it starts to uh, have a little problem. But my battery doesn't work. I doesn't need work to um, have the um, plugging the the, uh -huh. the laptop working. All right, so you got to plug need it over. I to change in the battery. Yes, you do. You do. They're not very expensive. They're around forty dollars to. Yeah, this is the problem. The the model is the one problem, and the price is the second problem. <laughs> Oh, I see. So, so, so yours, your battery is expensive then. Uh, yeah, right, uh, right. For me, right now, it's a, uh, it's a uh, difficult to spend a lot of money because I spend um, my saving money in oh, this, this um, time. You see? Okay. Yeah, smart. <coughs> oh. Jesus Christ. I don't know why it happens, but I get like an allergy. Hello, Andrea. How are you doing today? Doing all right? Andrea, are you there? Hello? Andrea Elizabeth. Hi, thank you. How are you doing? Hi. Say again. Hello, you there? Hello. How are you? Doing all right? I'm good, but I don't. I don't stay at home. Oh, you're not at home now. Uh, yes. You're not at home. So where are you taking the class? In the restaurant? No. <laughs> where are those? No. Voy manejando, pero voy a ir escuchando. Oh, you're driving. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, don't don't look don't look at the screen. Don't look at the screen, okay? Don't look at the screen because it, 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 you can get in trouble. Okay. 
Yeah, no, and we don't want trouble here. We want peace. Hey, let me text your your classmates. They should be here. Just uh, remind them, hey, you guys, you got to be here. All right, just a second. Just a second. Let's see where these people are. They should be here on time. So uh, today we're going to do a review on uh, vocabulary. And then uh, we then we are going to we're going to practice uh, questions one more time, direct questions, lots and lots of practice on direct questions. But first, we'll do vocabulary. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I trust you. I trust you. Don't text. Don't text. All right. Keep your eyes on the road and your head and your and your hands upon the wheel. Okay. Be careful. So. Um, so let let's uh, let's begin. Uh, we will begin with a with a short uh, with a short warmer with a short warmer about a bicycle. Hey, you remember we had a conversation about a about a bicycle. We had a conversation about a uh, about a, a bicycle in the last uh, lesson. So yes, yeah. huh? Now, uh, wow, it's only you now. So I guess uh, we'll just do it together. So look. Uh, let's look at these drawings, uh, Aries. Yeah. Notice uh, here we have the parts of a bicycle. Now, how do you think this works? How do you think this goes? Number the uh, number the drawings in order uh, in the correct order to assemble a bicycle. What do you think goes first? Uh, the shaping. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think, well, when you sell a bicycle, you, we, uh, you usually uh, ship it, you know, assembled. So probably the shipping, the shipping is not the most essential part. Let's uh, think it through, right? Let's think it through. So, what goes first? Um, wheels. The wheels, okay. And the wheels, where do you put the wheels? Let's look at the parts first and let's uh, practice, uh, let's practice the pronunciation out of each part. All right. All right, yeah, the frame. So let's practice the parts first, you know, let's practice the pronunciation of them. All right, so first goes uh, pedals. Pedals. Mm -hmm. Frame. Frame. Handlebars. Handlebars. Yeah, it's these, okay, it, it, it's these ones. And hand handlebars is only for bicycles. Uh, bicycles. And Bicycles and motorcycles. Yes, yes. It's only for it's only for those for for bicycles and motorcycles. For cars, what is the name? Uh, it's a steering wheel. Yeah, oh. I'll put it here in the in the in the chat. It's a steering wheel. No, oh, wait. I think it's only you and I now, and you are probably left. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's it's a steering. Friday. Yeah, is it? Yes, I know. And you know what? What happens? Probably all of these people are, are already partying. I hear you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right now uh, the restaurant is open. Yeah, mm -hmm. restaurants are open, and uh, many bars are opening today. Really? Yes. In, oh, in Paseo wow. Carmen, many, many bars are opening today. So uh, probably people are already there having fun. Oh, thank you for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, take it easy. I don't think it's a good time to go out. You know, <laughs> because if you're, a, I think you have to keep your mask on or I think <laughs> it's unsafe. I, I don't really know how it would, how it would work, but yeah. It's probably a lot of fun, I guess. 
I would like, I would like to go somewhere fun, you know, like probably a restaurant in, in Suchitoto or, or, or Coatepeque, you know, somewhere where you were calm with nature, a good place. Yeah. Hey, so where were we here? Is it, yeah, we were putting together the bicycle, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let, let's, uh, let's see. So you said the frame goes first. Yeah. Well, I agree on that. I do agree on that. Is the, is the, is the, is the, for me, it's the, the, the part um, principal. It is the most essential. Oh. True. It is the most essential part. You're right. Yeah. You're right. The others, um, the other parts need the frame. Exactly. There you go. Mm -hmm. If the frame isn't isn't there, I mean, you put the, everything upon the frame, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Great. Now, uh, what do you think goes next? Uh, the handlebars. The handlebars. Mm, yeah, most likely. Or yes. wheels. Maybe. Probably. Probably. Uh, probably. Probably. You're right. Yes. Now, um, or the the wheels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a point in there, because the wheels are 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 fundamental too, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, I think we'll go for the wheels. All right. Great. And after the after people, after you put the wheels on it, what do you think goes next? Uh, pedals. Oh yes. Yes, you are right. The pedals are put in the in the in the wheels and I mean in the in the frame and connected to the wheels with a chain. Okay. Mm hmm Great. So after the pedals, what do you think goes next? Maybe the handlebars on saddle. All right, the handle handlebars and saddle in that order. I think the order, to the both part is is not um, doesn't affect the. Sound. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah, but I think you you're right. First, probably it's better to put the handlebars and then the saddle, and that's how it goes. And at the end, after you have assembled your your bicycle, what do you do? You? Um. Maybe the the handlebars. All right. No, you put the handlebar already. Don't worry. Don't worry about the handlebar. No, what I'm what I'm asking you is, uh, what goes next? I mean, what goes after you have put the whole bicycle together? Okay. Mm hmm. Um. But I, I don't understand. <laughs> okay. I Let, assembled the I assembled the, the the bicycle for mm -hmm. use. I received the product or I send the product. You send it like uh, it's your it's uh, your business. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's I, I need to I need to package. You need to you need to pack it right. You need to pack it, and after it's packed, you. you ship. yes true you ship it over that is true so you send it over all right after yeah. you you pack it you ship it that's great that's great oh wow now getting lots of texts from people and they're still at work this is not fun okay great so uh now let's let's do a little practice with uh with questions okay let's let's do a little practice with questions and let's ask questions about uh about uh about the parts of bicycles and let's use indirect questions all right so uh for example for example uh can you tell me what goes first just to remember everything. Can you tell me what goes first? I, 
um, I think the first is the frame. The frame. All right, good. Now you ask me a question. Um, what, uh, can you, can you tell me what is the second part? Mm hmm. Uh, second part is the wheels. Mm -hmm. The wheels. Yes. Yes. And uh, all right, it's my turn. So, what goes next after the wheels? The pedals. The pedals. Oh yeah, true that. True that. The pedals. We put the pedals. So we go like from bottom up right we go bottom up all right great and uh what do you think goes after the pedals oh no it's your turn to ask me a question yeah. sorry yeah it's your turn <laughs> okay teacher i like to know mm -hmm. what is the is the next part okay after, so pedal. after the pedals we put the handlebars mm -hmm. yeah we put the handlebars okay and uh can you tell me what's the next step please uh put the saddle all right we put the saddle all right and uh it's your turn um could you la would you tell me what's the last uh step the last steps, uh, the last step is packing and shipping. You know, put the bicycle in wrapping, and after you wrap it, you put it inside a box and you send it over. And that's okay. the last, uh, that's the last step, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Great. So you agree on it. Great. Thank you. Hey, Romulo, how are you? Can't hear you. You are in mute. Yeah, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm doing well. Great. Welcome I to have, the game. I had difficult to enter at the, the platform. Okay. The platform? Really? What? What's the matter? Um, it, don't allow me. Nah, but I tried again, again, again. Then. Oh. Right now. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, well, let's see. I will I will ask the group if they are still having trouble because okay. because it, it it's only Aries and I, and it, Aries and I and you that you, you just made it. Let me ask them. Yeah, let, let me ask them and see what, what happens. Anyways, so Ramla, we were we were uh, discussing we were discussing uh, the parts of the of the bicycle, and yeah. how you how you assemble a bicycle. You know what goes first and what goes next. What's the first part and what's the last thing you do when you when you are uh, assembling a bicycle. So uh, here are here are the parts of a bicycle. We have the pedals. The frame, the handlebars, and uh, here is uh, this shipping. Another another okay. step to it. We have the saddle, and uh, finally the wheels. So, uh, can you tell me what goes? Uh, what do you think goes first? Can you tell me what, what do you, goes first? What the first? Mm -hmm. The first thing you do. What goes first on a bicycle? Is it the frame? Is it the wheels? Is it the saddle? But uh, the pedals, the pedals, you think that goes first? 
Okay, okay. Uh, but re repeat the, 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 the question, teacher. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I don't understand. Sorry. What do you think goes first when you put together the parts of a bicycle? Like okay. when you assemble it, like in a, like in a factory, in, a, in an assembly line. Yeah, okay. The frame. The frame. All right, that's smart. Like it. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what do you think goes next? The next is... Uh, hmm. I think uh, the the wheels. The wheels. Well, yeah, it, it sounds logical, right? It goes into a machine, then you put the wheels yes, on. Yes, the frame. The, mm -hmm. Yes, the it wheels. Probably, <laughs> probably we go like bottom up, right? We go bottom up. So if we go bottom up, what do you think goes after the wheels? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, handlebars. The handlebars? Yeah. Oh, like bottom up? You think the handlebars is the next? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And, uh, and what do you think goes next? The pedal. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Like, like that one. And uh, after the pedals, what goes next in your opinion? Saddle. The saddle, okay. Saddle, okay. The saddle, yes. And after you put all of that together, what do you do after you have a, a shipping? <laughs> shipping, right? Yeah. Send go. it over. Yeah, go out. <laughs> uh, it goes. It goes out to your customer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So with this, uh, with this uh, short activity, uh, what we did is a uh, quick practice on uh, vocabulary okay and vocabulary in parts of a bicycle so that is that is what what we mostly worked on today all right we will also review some uh, vocabulary regarding uh regarding um regarding uh, steps of production all right steps of production and uh, this is also on your platform. So one of the exercises from your platform is about this. It's about the steps of production. And uh, in this special case, in uh, your student's manual in page uh, 29, they're talking about uh, the process of production of a uh, shampoo. So what do, we have, uh, what do we have to do with these uh, words, Iris? Uh, can you... Tell us, please. Can you read the instruction? Okay. Uh, um, building vocabulary. Yes. Mm -hmm. The terms is the chart describe the step of a production process for a shampoo. Match the steps to their corresponding task compare answer with a partner okay great great so let's do it let's uh, let's go ahead and check on uh, each and every step so what's the first thing you do what do you think let's imagine we have a we are making a shampoo hey you know just a, just a quick question uh, what types of shampoo are more popular what kinds of problems uh, does a shampoo solve? Like, uh, for example, is it uh, dendrons? Have you heard this, uh, th this word, dendron? Like, uh, like this, dendrons or what, it, uh, or probably dendron or probably, uh, um, let's see, like broken hair or what kinds of problems does a, does a shampoo? Oh, color too, right? Color is another, is another problem that shampoo helps for, right? And uh, for damaged hair, right? For damaged hair. So it, it can be helpful for damaged hair as well. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so 
Now let's see what goes first in this uh, in this process of making a shampoo. Mm hmm. Great. So, what do you think goes first? Uh, I I I don't know. I don't know the some words. Mm hmm. Good. Yeah. Let's check on them. But I I read the the plain or the sentence mm -hmm. yes uh, and i think uh the last one a sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets meets the specification okay uh-huh that might be probably the one of the last one right uh, it's the i think it's the number one you you think that's number one, but what if my shampoo is ready? What can I send to quality control? Yeah. So so we have to make the shampoo first before we give it to quality control, to quality assurance. Yeah, I think uh, before the production. Yeah, you see my point. Yeah, like it. Well, well um so let's begin all right let's let's begin so uh we have to match the steps to their corresponding tasks all right so what this means is this like probably like like matching this with their definitions right mm -hmm. so let's see the terms in the in this chart describe the steps of a uh, product of a uh, production process for a shampoo so you have to match these steps to their tasks okay so and then we compare our answers so first what do you think goes first here steps to their tasks so mix which one mix it, mm -hmm. mix it mixes the first step yeah it looks like mm -hmm. all the raw materials are put in batch i can mix it all right good good in a batch all right they are put uh -huh. in a batch and mixed okay so well that that might be the first step you know i agree on that all right good now uh what do you think quality control is Eris, I think you, you got that one. Quality control. What's that about? It's a uh, quality control. It's uh, a sample is sent to be analyzed to ensure it meets its specification. Correct. Correct. So uh, so it looks like it looks like after we have made uh, we have uh, put everything uh, in a batch and mixed we have to take it to our experts so they can tell us if our mix is all right all right mm -hmm. great so uh Romulo, what uh how about filtering filtering what's Filter. that about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, after the batch is approved, the shampoo is pure in the right amount into the empty bottles. Okay, yeah, that that makes sense. Hey, let's number this in here. Let's uh, let's uh, let's put everything in the right order here because uh, just to keep a record. I really, really wonder what is going on what is going on with these people so um that's gonna be um, this one raw materials mixed okay great and then we said uh quality control is gonna be this right mm -hmm. all right and then filtering is uh this you said right Mm -hmm. yeah the one on top great all right and uh what about the other ones what about the after filtering what do you do it's uh 
Capping. Capping, right? Capping. Okay, so what's this about? Or uh, let no, no, let me. Let me uh, yes, yes, yes. Cap, capping. Capping. And uh, and uh, Iris, sorry. So what what are you saying? Iris, what what did you say again, please? Uh, the bottles are move, moved to another machine that puts a cap on every bottle and twists. Uh -huh. Good, good. So uh, they go in like in a treadmill machine, and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, caps are but uh, caps are put upon the bottles. All right, good, great. I like I like it. All right, so that that might that's capping all right good so it's gotta be this one huh number four great and after we after we do that uh with the shampoo what's next after capping what's the next step labeling 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 yeah labeling hmm? that uh, B E L sounds like bowl, like labeling. Mm -hmm. So, labeling. huh? Good labeling. Okay, great. So, what's the lab labeling like? What do you do when you're labeling uh, labeling product? The conveyor belt takes the bottle to the machine where the label with the ingredients in the brand name is stuck on. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So uh, let me ask you, are you doing this? Are you doing what I'm doing too? I'm just picturing a factory where first I mix my ingredients in a, in a, I mix my ingredients in a, in a, in a big pot. And after that, uh, after that, uh, I take it to quality control. People inspect it and say it's right. And, I, and after I do that, uh, I do that. Uh, the shampoo is uh, is poured in 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 the bottles. You know, it's put in the bottles. And uh, after that, uh, they go into a machine that puts the caps, the caps. You know, like this. Yeah. Huh on it and they are going in a belt so that's what i'm doing right now and and that's what you have to do with new words like picture it picture it that's important to picture okay uh so well i, I picture this myself and and i hope you're doing so so uh labeling labeling oh, all right what we do is uh all right fine what about um uh, bottles are moved and this is the one number five okay and uh, what about the last step? The last step is, what's the last step here? Pack it. And we pack it, right, great. So after we pack it, what do we do? How do we pack it? The bottles are put into boxes and are ready to be sent to the stores. All right, good. So after that, they are, you know, the bottles are put in boxes. Great, great. So we put them and send them to a store. All right, like it, like it very much. So that will be number six. These are the definitions of how to, how to, uh, how to process, I mean, the, how to process a, a shampoo. What about the production process of a shampoo? Uh, later, we'll also think about the the process for another, probably another item, another article. All right. So we'll do that together. You know. Uh, but don't forget this. It goes into this order. All right. So I'm going to uh, screenshot this. I'm gonna screenshot this. So, and uh, I will send it to your uh, to your WhatsApp group, so you can keep it for the record. And uh, 
we will also think of how to pack the product all right later together so we'll we'll do our own test uh, i mean our our own idea last time we discussed cost so we'll do something a little different today all right good let me see if i can uh, i can screen shoot this now why not all right it's being saved just a second guys in the Indra, you made it home? Yes. All right, great. Great, very good. That's not a very a very long drive, is it? Tell me. Uh yeah, again, uh, you don't drive you don't drive much, do you? It's a very, it's a, uh, you were very close from home, right? You were near, you were near because home. I, I finish my home, my work home. I need to work office. Oh, I see. So you, you finish your, your work, your, home office and now you are working on site right mm -hmm. so do you go to work every yes. day yeah do you go to work every day now yes every wow. day every day every day well that's fine i like it i like it you know i hope you're having fun well all right so now what we're going to do is is uh this we'll check on uh, more vocabulary all right and uh, i have a quick question for you and let's uh let's discuss these uh this together so first uh read this question romulo read the first question and uh, aries is gonna read the next one Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you ever visited an assembly plant mm -hmm. okay. in your own words? How is assembly line different from a production line? Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. So we have here an assembly line and uh, a production line. Hey, we, we work here on a production line, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, here is the assembly line. How is this different? Okay, look, we're gonna take a look at, uh, we're gonna take a look at, at Ford's, all right, uh, at, uh, at Ford's assembly line. Who likes uh, Ford cars? Does anybody like them? They're good. They're not that bad. They're not that bad. How about you? Do you? What is your opinion about Fords, Ford cars? I like Ford cars. All right. A, for me, it's a strong car. Yes, yes. Especially. But, uh, mm -hmm. uh, for me, the pen teacher. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. That's important. That's the important. Mo the model. Is uh -huh. All because right because of the focus for yeah the four focus is, the four focus is bad <laughs> yeah especially the the old ones the old ones like like the 2003 and the and the, like probably from 1999 to 2005 or 6 are bad <laughs> yeah i had bad experience with the four focus Oh, so you you had it? You had one? No, no. In my in, in the, I work uh, two years ago for the the uh, program of uh, USAID. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we have uh, the four focus for the for the program, but uh, then if. Uh, have a recent recently model but um, and and past one year since the uh the uh, um, 
is uh, w worse functional or, or it was or malfunctioning. The, yeah, the car was malfunctioning. So in yeah. one year, and the car was new. One year, yeah. Yeah, the car Cars was new. Needed. Yes. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that that we call it malfunctioning. Okay. Malfunctioning. <laughs> so it's like giving trouble. Mm -hmm. So the car was malfunctioning very very soon. All right. Great. Great. Well, uh, yeah, I know people who have had uh, their four focus too, and uh, they say just the same. It, it starts giving trouble very, very soon. And if you, if, and if you buy a, a, a used one, it's even worse. If it's not new, if it's a used car, it gives you much more trouble. It heats, it overheats very quickly, overheats very quickly. And, uh, and the parts are not good. And sometimes they're expensive parts are expensive too yeah okay but but ford is a very old car it's it's being it's being uh, it's being on the market for years so let's see let's see uh, a video about the history of ford's assembly uh ford's uh assembly line and let's see how how it worked in the past and how it works now so Let's pay attention to this video. I may ask you questions after watching. Hundred years ago, on October 1913, Henry Ford introduced one of history's great inventions, the assembly line. It transformed industry worldwide. And the mass-produced Model T helped create the American middle class. All right, one more time. Oopsie, I hope you have subtitles. I uh, guess you don't. All right. 100 years ago, on October 1913, Henry Ford introduced one of history's great inventions, the assembly line. It transformed industry worldwide. And the mass-produced Model T helped create the American middle class. Dean Reynolds went to Ford's original plant in Detroit to learn more. The assembly line has always been an impressive mix of man and machine. What it looks like now is a far cry from a century ago when Henry Ford first embraced the idea, one that wound up turning America into an industrial powerhouse with a thriving middle class. Bill Ford is executive chairman of Ford Motor Company and the great-grandson of Henry. Well, he had visited the meatpacking uh, business in Illinois, and he saw there that the people were stationary and the product was moved to them. And he thought, well, why can't I apply that same principle to uh, the car industry? So that's really where he got the innovation for it. Until Ford's stroke of genius, his automobiles were basically custom-made trophies for the wealthy. That changed. The assembly line did two things. One is it gave mobility to the average American, and the other is the employment in the plants helped create the middle class. The process itself has aged well and continues to improve. To build a quality car, you have to be able to have your operator be able to do it efficiently and to do it injury-free. Allison Stevens is a technical eyes, specialist at Ford's ergonomic lab. Okay. And you now are seeing 3D and you are inside the computer looking at the design of one of our vehicles. She showed us how, with 3D animation, she and her team can approximate an assembly line in the quiet of their office, testing parts and designs without the need to build an actual model. You're seeing every fastener, every hole, every bend in the metal. This virtual trial and error can tell Ford whether bolts turn, tires fit, or antennas are within reach to maximize efficiency up and down the actual line. Bill Ford likes that kind of thinking. The, the assembly line's changed a lot uh, in 100 years. We're, it's still an assembly line, and, and that to me is really remarkable. The proof of that can be seen in car after car after car. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Dean Reynolds, Detroit. Okay, great, great. So you see what, what the assembly line is like uh, where, did, where did the idea of the assembly line come from? Do you remember? Where did the idea of the assembly line of, of, uh, of Ford's 
assembly line come from? Was it his original idea or it was, uh, it was, he had an inspiration. Yeah. Somewhere. Where uh, did he get his Mr. inspiration? Henry Ford had uh, the, this idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was his in inspiration for this? What did he see that made him, made him think, uh, I can do something similar? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I understand that uh, assembly line is a uh, idea for uh, Henry Ford, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's But it's uh, appearing that the another industry to, to mm. copy the model, okay? Yeah. Because uh, every step and, and the, the process and the assembly light is special it and in the and the kind or a specific process and I think uh, 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 improve the efficient efficient industry and and, and uh, the 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 production increase yeah, the production increased, and he uh, he sped up the 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 production, uh, right? More, more faster, okay? Yeah, it was faster. And uh, in the past, in the past, we will look at images from it, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Look, this is like his. Uh, wait, 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 wait. In the past, who were these beautiful cars for? Who were these beautiful cars for? Were they for every every middle class American, or were were they for uh, for uh, for a special kind of Americans? I I think as a, a the middle class uh, can get that, that kind of cars. Uh, okay, the middle class can't get, couldn't get in the past, right? They couldn't get. Uh, uh, could, couldn't type. get, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you agree with that, uh, Indra? Do you think that uh, middle class Americans could buy these types of cars before? They were custom made. They made it uh, carefully. Uh, very few people made them carefully, part by part. So do you think that uh, every American could have one of these? I don't understand. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, yeah, look at this. Look at this car. Look at this car. So, uh -huh. uh, do you think that every American could have these uh this car in the past or was it or is this type of car for a special kind of people? Uh yes. I think it's a special kind of people because it's very elegant maybe very expensive well you know i got i got your i got your point so yes it's it looks like it's a very expensive car and uh and uh, it's very elegant right so not everybody could have one of these beauties so the idea of the assembly line as uh, romulo said it was to make things faster and uh, that's they, that's how they built America, right? Yeah. That, that's how they they uh, they built America. So uh, they made uh, they made this car faster. That was the idea, you know, producing. Anna Lilian, are you here? Yes. All right. So producing this car much faster, so every American could have it. Okay, and that's how they built the middle class right that's how they made the middle class now look at this i was asking you if ford followed the model of another industry <laughs> what kind of industry is this oops what kind of industry is this as a food a beef 
beef, right? Beef and pork, so the, like the meat industry. So oh, the meat industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, look at all of these piggies hanging. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's too bad, but it's delicious oh, yeah. too. But it's the reality. Like I, I don't yes. like it fart. That was inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that that was his inspiration. He saw how 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 the how the 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 raw meat and how the entire uh, pig was rolling through um was rolling through a treadmill was rolling through a treadmill i'm gonna put this here treadmill a treadmill a treadmill is a is a is a machine that has like rows and a band over it, and the things go running over there. Así como la, you know, it's a it's like it's a sort of rubber band, and below it there are rows. Tiene unos rows. Y ahí van corriendo las cosas, right? That's it. so they were they were in a in a treadmill, and uh, and that they were they were you know doing each process at a time so that's how he made a production a production line very interesting hey by the way do you remember who uh do you remember who this who this man is who is this man the grand the grandson of the harry Ford. Right. Grand, grand. <laughs> okay and uh he is a very powerful man i'm sure he has a lot of money right yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy has yes. He he has. Rec he received the heritage. Yeah, right. He he received a large a large inheritance. A lucky man, right? A lucky man. Who wouldn't want this on earth? Wow. Yeah. He is a very lucky man. So that's how this man is 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 now rich. So that's the idea of the pro of the assembly line comes from Ford. Ford was the one that had that idea of running everything through a threat mill and go by processes, you know, each step made at a time. Great. Like it, guys. Thanks a lot for sharing. Okay. Uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll take another look at, a, a, at the video. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay. 100 years ago, on October 1913, Henry Ford introduced one of history's great inventions, the assembly line. It transformed industry worldwide. And the mass-produced Model T helped create the American middle class. Dean Reynolds went to Ford's original plant in Detroit to learn more. The assembly line has always been an impressive mix of man and machine. What it looks like now is a far cry from a century ago when Henry Ford first embraced the idea, one that wound up turning America into an industrial powerhouse with a thriving middle class. Bill Ford is executive chairman of Ford Motor Company and the great-grandson of Henry. Well, he had visited the meatpacking uh, business in Illinois, and he saw there that the people were stationary and the product was moved to them. And he thought, well, why can't I apply that same principle to uh, the car industry? So that's really where he got the innovation for it. Until Ford's stroke of genius, his automobiles were basically custom-made trophies for the wealthy. That changed. The assembly line did two things. One is it gave mobility to the average American, and the other is the employment in the plants helped create the middle class. The process itself has aged well and continues to improve. To build a quality car, you have to be able to have your operator be able to do it efficiently and to do it injury-free. Allison Stevens is a technical specialist at Ford's ergonomic lab. Okay. And you now are seeing 3D, and you are inside the computer looking at the design of one of our vehicles. She showed us how, with 3D animation, she and her team can approximate an assembly line in the quiet of their office testing parts and designs without the need to build an actual model. You're seeing every fastener, every hole, every bend in the metal. This virtual trial and error can tell Ford whether bolts turn, tires fit, or antennas are within reach to maximize efficiency up and down the actual line.
Bill Ford likes that kind of thinking. The, the assembly line's changed a lot uh, in 100 years. We're, it's still an assembly line, and, and that to me is really remarkable. The proof of that can be seen in car after car after car. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Dean Reynolds, Detroit. Okay, great. So uh, was there any question about vocabulary in this video? No? No? Not yet. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, do you think, I'm just curious, do you think that this is probably, uh, the, do, do you think that probably they speak too fast? Yes. Yes, still? Uh -huh. Yes, but, but it's an, I think, mm, yes, fast, but it's maybe, it's a normal, right? Yeah. yeah. It is? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's normal. It's, it's normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's normal because they, they, you know, that's, that's their language, right? Mm -hmm. And if, uh, for example, an American listens to you, he will go like, uh, you know, this Salvadorian people really speak fast. Yes. It's the same. Uh -huh. It's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 the same, right? So uh -huh. they go like, "Oh, por qué hablan tan rápido ustedes?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So so that is that is why that is why. All right. So, but you know, if you listen to lots of English, then this becomes a habit, and once it's a habit you become stronger at, at it and it's not difficult anymore so if you listen to videos like this or if you watch a series uh daily this will be no challenge later so it's a fun way to practice your english do you guys uh, watch series in english uh aries or Romulo, do you watch uh series in english um Yes, I, 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 I am watching the, the SEAL team. The SEAL team. Yes. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. And uh, what, what is it about? Tell Hi. me, please. In my uh, is it? Oh, okay, yeah. thank you. So, sorry, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Iris. Uh, tell us what you were, what you were about to say. I, in my case, I I don't uh, so uh, don't watch series, but I I read in English. Oh, and, I see. And and I I start to listen music in English because for me is is most difficult listening uh -huh. because I uh, I need to. Uh, um, better uh, improve the pronunciation too, because right. sometimes I know the the word, but I I don't know what's the pronunciation. Okay. Uh, what the others uh, tell me, I need to hear both or three times because really? I can identify. Wow, wow! So didn't think it would go. Uh huh. But it's good. It's good that you're you're practicing in a way. It doesn't matter if it's listening. I mean, if it's uh, serious. Songs are good. Songs are good too. I use songs a lot. But uh, but that is fine too. The reading and reading and the videos are videos are very useful, very helpful, and the series are really really good. Uh, from from all of that, I prefer series. I start this new book. Oh, that's uh, Joel Osteen, is it? Yeah, it's a very good. I oh, like yeah. it. You like you like Joel? Yeah, uh, yeah. And Joel is a good speaker. I start. <laughs> right and listen now. to his sermons. I only read the first chart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but serious, serious. Uh, do this. Listen to his sermons, to his oh, presentations. Yes. If you listen to his sermons in English, you will learn a lot. Okay. You will yes. learn a lot. So, so listen to his sermons. That is, that would be a great, a great, great tool. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I really maybe. like it. Uh -huh. You like it? All right. Yes. Great. Great. Very good. So, yeah, do listen to him and listen to his sermons. They're, they're, I think they're, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't watch that, but I think it will be very helpful to listen to him speaking to. Yes, teacher. I think this is very important because when we are, when we listen, listening, uh, you, you may is thinking in English too. Aha, uh -huh. yes. And you can have a, a more vocabulary. True, true. Mm -hmm. From the little you catch, from the little you catch. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Look, many people do this. Many people worry a lot because mm -hmm. when they are they are watching a video or listening to somebody speaking English, they don't understand one word. For that one word, uh -huh. they go like, oh, they freak out. Don't freak out. Yeah. It's, it's just one word. Listen to the general idea and you and you will get it. Uh, like, you can catch, yes. What, what, what about you, your experience, teacher? In my experience? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh -huh. yeah. Please, can you say your testimony, please? <laughs> my testimony. Uh, yes. Okay. How you, you, uh, you learn in English? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My story oh, was... <laughs> My story was like this. Um, I always liked English since I was a little kid and it was my favorite class. So uh, I always got very good grades in English and uh, my teacher liked me very much too. So when I finished, I went, uh, when I finished uh, high school, I went to the university and studied English. And uh, after that, uh, I was good at it. I started working in a, in a call center and I worked there for four years in the call center. Mm -hmm. But in the call, my English was good at school. This is funny. My English was good at school, but my English wasn't good at, in the, at the call center. You studied in a bilingual school? No, no. I studied in a, you know, in a regular, regular a normal. Yeah, really? normal school in a, in a, in, in a regular school. So, but you really like it. Uh huh. That's the point. I really why, liked. Uh -huh. I really liked it, but uh, what I'm telling you is that uh, my English what good was good in the school, but when I went to the call center, my English was not good Perfect. for the for the Americans. No? It wasn't uh -huh. good for the Americans because we have here we have a we have an accent, uh, in the, in the in the in the many Americans don't like the way we mm -hmm. speak. Or I was like, they, they speak too fast. I don't understand. I didn't yes. know the names of their streets in there. I didn't know American names. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know much about their culture too. So if they told me, uh, I live in uh, blah, blah, blah road or, or I live in Sunscreen or, or I live in Sunset Boulevard or I live mm -hmm. in... in uh, I live in uh, Worcester, uh, Worcester, Worcester, Massachusetts. And I was like, Worcester, mm -hmm. how do you spell it? ¿Cómo lo escribe? Yes. And I, was, oh, I didn't know any of that. No sabía nada de cultura de ellos ni nada. Entonces, saber un poquito de inglés así, de escuela, no es tan bueno. It's, it, I mean, it's good for it's practice, practical. for fluency. Mm -hmm. Es bueno para la fluidez, para agarrar maña, digamos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Para quitarse el miedo. But, but uh, Es bueno también ver series y cosas así. It's also good because you mm -hmm. get a lot of vocabulary, culture, and things that you will not probably see in a class. So mm -hmm. after I was in the call center, I started watching series on, on TV, on, on, on Warner Channel. I didn't have ah. cable TV. <laughs> so I, I bought cable TV and internet. And uh, I had access to all of that, and it was a lot of fun. So after that, I think that was probably the turning point, you know, having cable TV. I watched Friends like a hundred times, and I learned so many things in there. And after, mm -hmm. and after that, it was it was it was all snowballing to 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 the uh, to where I am. So it was watching series, and also what I did was this. I listen to the to the people speak. You know, I, I, I spoke to Americans all the time. So I listen to them speak and I try to um, and I try to uh, imitate the way they spoke. 
Mm-hmm. Imitation also is very important. So I pick, I used to listen to them and I try to speak like them and it was very helpful. So, so do you think about that too? So if Romo, if you're watching your series and you have a favorite character, you listen to him, stop the video for a minute and try to repeat what he said in the very same way he did it. O sea, misma forma, el mismo tono, el mismo, o sea, trate de imitarlo en todo. You will see and, and that words, trust me, it does. It does. Imitation is very important. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so do that. That is, a, that is one tip. That is one tip. And, uh, and that's how it worked to me. Two hours in here in class is good and it's fun. And we practice a lot and we speak a lot. But uh, extra practice, do some extensive practice too for fun. It helps a lot for fun. Learn English for fun somewhere else too, in a series or in a movie, anywhere else. And you will see the change. You see, I, I saw the change when I started doing that. And also reading. Reading also helped me. But mostly everything changed when I, uh, when I uh, first did that. Yes, it, it, that is my, my, my testimony. That's how it worked for me. So <laughs> Thank call you, center, it was the call center and, and, the, and it was the, the, the series. And I have friends also who've never been to a call center in their lives. And they speak really, really good English. But they learned it from TV, mostly. From TV. Teacher. Mm-hmm. Yes? And when did you decide to be a teacher? Mm, when I finished uh, oh. school, when I finished school. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I finished school, I decided, I decided to, to study English, uh, um, English teaching, or teaching English teaching. as a foreign language. Yes, that is when I, when I, when I decided. It was my favorite thing, and uh, I wanted to help people too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, very fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but it was difficult at some point, especially when I when I when I first had my when I had my first calls, it was very different. It it was all different. It was not the same people. I heard people from all over. Ya cuando comienza a escuchar los negritos y los y los chelones así que viven the Chinese the Chinese people the Chinese people yeah the Chinese the Hindu people you know the people from the Russian, India, the the Russians Russian. and the French uh-huh. and also people from different regions from the states every the region Alemania, Alemania teacher, Germans the, the Alemania. Germans yeah uh-huh. yes they, and they also speak like, uh, uh, they have an accent they have an accent uh-huh. also uh-huh. also um also one thing one thing is that in every region of the states there is uh there is a different accent mm-hmm. Very in, every, different. But, in every region mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. what do you think uh uh the british accent is the the best uh for yours uh mm-hmm. no or no or uh, i it? think probably not the best but it's okay. the one that people uh I, I think people like it very much because because it, it sounds very fancy right uh-huh. it sounds very classy very fancy so people like it and i i think the british is, is the, the, the people speak slow and clear mm-hmm. for us is is a for yeah. me i i listen sometimes i felt i understand better yeah. Because for that reason. Yeah. It, well, it depends on the kind of people too. Mm-hmm. Probably the kind of people you have heard mostly is academics or people with with some education. But in in Britain there are some some accents too, like for example a regular working class uh, Londoner, a person from London, mm-hmm. from a regular working class, uh, they have a they have an accent that people don't understand like like regular middle class or working class london uh people from london they have an accent called cutney 
people don't understand it because it's very, very difficult to follow. So it, depen <laughs> it depends on the region. It depends on the region a lot. <laughs> and, and, in, and, and it changes when it goes to different cities too. Yeah. Yes. And, and uh, according to research, according to research, uh, people say that uh, that the English from uh, Washington, uh, Washington State, Oregon, and in the in the in the West Coast, uh, in in the West Coast, in the yep. Northwest is the best English to it because everybody mm -hmm. in the world understands it. So that that English from that from that region is the one that people understand better. In the bat is a uh, New York, eh? uh, Ireland, or uh, uh, no, it's, it's uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn, the Bronx, the and Bronx. Uh, also the the Southern English from uh, from the South, from uh, from Texas, Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, and. Uh, in the in the Mississippi, in Mississippi, it, uh -huh. it sounds it sounds like like farm people sound like farmers, como que fueran granjeros, oye, la gente de ahí. Yeah. So, uh -huh, like yeah. a campesanos, yeah, so or sort of like uh -huh. that, that kind of that. So, it, it, it's it's uh. For pecuario people. Yeah, yeah, people from the countryside, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people from the countryside. Farmer. Yeah, farmers and the and the also like pe truckers. You know, people like uh, people who drive <laughs> trucks. La gente que maneja. They they all sound they all sound very funny. But you know, it's the states. It's very big. So if the if the if the country is big, expect a lot of variety. Yeah. yeah. It, it, yeah, you expect a variety because the country is big. Obviously, there will be lots of accents. Also, Canadian English is very good. If you listen to Canadian English, you will learn a lot. They speak very clearly, Canadians. They do. It, it's very good to learn as well. And it's a good accent to copy. Es bueno para copiar el canadiense. Se entiende bastante. Bien, bien clarito. Los canadienses hablan super clarito y bien articulado. Es un acento bonito para copiar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's easier than British, porque los British tienen mucho, mucha, como mucho tono. Y muy, muy raro suena. Entonces, soy uh -huh. bien chistoso. Ajá. Uh -huh. It goes like, uh, can I please have a glass of water? Would you be so kind and get me a new? Right? And, and they go like that, or, or they... I don't know, it, it, it sounds a little, it's very como chistoso ya cuando la gente quiera, quiera copiar ese acento. Aquí, it's very bien como que, ay, este va. It's very raro, it's very chistoso. Ajá, pero si digamos, eh, el, el canadiense, bueno, I, I would recommend you for, to learn that one. All right, guys, uh, very good, very good. So we did a little practice on uh, this. Hey, let me run attendance. It, it's, it's time to run attendance. Let's uh, stop sharing. Wow. You know, it's so sad. Omar, welcome. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm sorry to be late, but I arrived to a home really? right now. You just arrived? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm working today in the office, I have to go to a casino. Really? Wow. Wow, that's that's too bad, yeah. Omar. So uh the transport is Yeah, I imagine. So you so you don't have you, you don't have, there are yeah. there are uh, not too much bus buses. There aren't too many buses. Uh -huh, no. Of course. It's a very, very complicated teacher. Of course. It's in my not... case something mm -hmm. like Omar really? because I come too too late today. Because maybe today is Friday and some people take a, a salary today, maybe for that. Yeah, I don't yeah know. they got paid. They got but paid today. Uh -huh. But it's a crazy day for it's traffic. Very mm -hmm. Uh huh, yes. 
Uh -huh. sí, yes, uh... Y yo hasta ahora fui a la oficina después de este marzo, hasta hoy fui a la oficina. Ooh, five months out. Yo, really? yeah. How was it? How was the office? Sí, uh -huh, uh -huh. Si así si, si salí con gran miedo salí yeah. porque no 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 había que hacer. Wearing mask. <laughs> sí. And you know the people well, outside is like a very crazy and very sure. very nervous and I don't know maybe it's something like strange. Yeah, people are right. like paranoid. Uh -huh. Exactly, this is a word of paranoia. Yes. Sí, hoy no, yo me apartaba así. Yo me apartaba porque yo no sé, sentía que esa persona podía andar un virus. No sé. True, true. And it, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I, I probably wouldn't go out this way. I mean, I go out, I, I, I do the groceries, I go to the bank. I had to mm -hmm. go to Hacienda today, many things, but you know, I prefer, I prefer, uh, I prefer to be safe and not go out much. Yes. Just imagine if I, if I was uh, working regularly right now, I would have to go to a classroom mm -hmm. with 20 people in. No, can, it's can you not imagine safe. That? Can uh -huh. you imagine that? Can you being with, uh, it's being with, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not a good idea right now. It's very no. unsafe. Mm -hmm. The virus, uh, the virus is still around. Mm -hmm. People are getting infected still, and the virus is not fun. Has ever has any of you gotten uh, gotten infected? And has any of you gotten infected? No, in my, no. In my house, anything. No. Nope. In my case, not. To And you know, no, you know. In my case, and you know nobody. that my daughter, my daughter is working in a, in a UC COVID, in a Rosales Really, hospital. in a yes, in emergency room. Uh huh. Yes, and uh, uh, and every week they make a, a test, but uh, gracias a Dios, nothing to do, and nobody okay. in my home. Nobody But it's a nervous. Yeah, it's all very, the time. It, it, <laughs> We it's, have a paranoia too. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Mm -hmm. But we have to confiar. We have to trust. Yes. Trust. Yes. Yeah, we have to trust God. Yeah. And have right. a very, very careful. Yes, we gotta be mm -hmm. really super careful. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Because uh, yes. we don't know. You know, has any of you been uh, being uh, infected? Has any has any of you gotten the virus? Uh, no, teacher. No, you haven't. Mm -mm, no, no I haven't. I haven't. Thank God, I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine did. A friend of mine did, and it was uh, it was horrible. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's a, something very, I, I don't know, teacher, it's a terrible because it is a, a very bad for everyone because you can see the people again. It's a very, yeah. very bad. It's a horrible feeling to think that probably you will not see. And no funerals and nothing. nothing. Yeah, no funerals. Yes, you have yeah. to remember like you see the last time in that sense. Mm -hmm. I have a co-worker uh, sick for this virus and mm -hmm. say me today, yeah, and say me today, uh, he passed um, 23 days in the hospital and, the, and your drug is his very, drug. Uh -huh. his drug is uh, eh, se pone como muy, muy, muy así, muy pequeño, no. eh, no puede respirar, no, ni siquiera hablar. No even speak. No, dice que quiso despedirse de, de su familia cuando lo llevaron al hospital y lo dejaron ingresado porque no sabía si iba a salir, oh, pero no podía hablar, no oh, podía despedirse. Oh, de that, that's horrible, no that's quisiera, horrible. Pero, horrible. Sí. Yeah, I can't picture. Pero gracias a Dios salió bien. Salió okay. bien, salió gracias a Dios. Yeah. Gracias a Dios. It, it takes about a month, about a month to, to, to leave the emergency room and to leave, uh, to, to get better. It takes a, about a month. So I guess, yeah, you know, it can, it can happen that way. Okay. It's a complete 
complicated for everybody. Yeah, it's a really difficult situation. It's a really yes. difficult situation. So, yes. All right, you guys. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna run attendance. Please, you <laughs> five respond to your name. You know, uh, I am really, really curious why these people are not here. Many are oh, saying for a traffic feature. Yeah, many are saying it's traffic. Many are saying that they are right today, work. and the traffic is horrible. It's a horrible. Yes. Yeah. I had to go you out, know, but it wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. I, we have to come in and take a tower <laughs> because it is important too. Yeah. Every day, true. teacher, yes. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. All right. Let me let me just uh, let me just run attendance and please respond to your name with a present. So, <laughs> Jose Enrique de la O Salazar no está. Katia Maria Soriano de Santana tampoco. Bueno, ella no, no asiste. Gladys Aminta Galdames Merino no está. Ana Grisela Iglesias Hernández tampoco está. Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Present. Thank you. Iris Dorotea Sánchez Fierro Acevedo. Present, teacher. Thank you. And uh, Claudia Evelyn Hernández no está. She's not present. No está. Uh, Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. No, Mary. Jesus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cesar, Vladimir, Cesar Vladimir Romero Rugamas. No está. Okay. Uh, Omar Imer Gámez Linares. Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Next. Uh, Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Shane Zohar uh, Dem, uh, Deming Cabrera. Present teacher. Got you. Arabella Parada Gámez. Arabella, ah, Arabella is not here. Arabella no está. Mario Enrique Márquez Celaya no está. Gloria Beatriz en Elías Alegría, yo creo que ya no existe. Samuel Orellana Pérez, Elías Samuel Orellana Pérez tampoco existe. Adolfo Jonathan Parada dijo que no iba a venir por el trabajo. Uh, Aleida Elizabeth Juárez también por el trabajo me dijo que no iba a venir. Mm. Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza. Andrea estaba aquí, quizás se desconectó. Y Camila Calles yes, Minero. Sí, yeah, she was here. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. All right, good. Good. Teacher, this is another problem, the work, because, you know, now we have many, many, many work to do. And A maybe work, for yeah. that reason, uh -huh, maybe for that reason, all the people is coming because we have to make too much work for the people. It's not more of mm -hmm. the work. We have to make it. Yeah. And maybe for this, for this reason, too. This day is the end of the month. Too, uh, it is a problem for many companies. It, uh, a lot of um, uh, work uh, to do. Yes, uh huh. It's too. And the Monday is the same because it's thirty first, thirty one. Uh huh. Yeah, Monday thirty first. Oh, my, Monday is <laughs> gonna be crazy. Yes, Monday it will be a crazy day. Month. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the we month. We have to close, especially in uh, self. The Sales, accounting, uh -huh. all of In that. In my case, teacher, I am telemarketing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I imagine so. Yes, it's a yeah. crazy. Uh -huh. It's a really crazy time. It's a really, nice. really crazy time. Yeah. In my case, in my, case my, my device, my computer doesn't work today and I have no function when, when, where don't where donde se conecta eh, eh, creo que se arruinó y el cargador no la agarró tuve que llevarla a la oficina por eso tuve que salir de emergencia oh. de qué? y estoy en R, ya me, me veré el lunes con muchas cosas uh -huh. uh -huh. so much work to do I mean. you have sí, to el, say, el lunes es el último día del mes eh. sí. Sí. es el cierre famoso cierre oh. famous uh -huh. Yes, yes, true that. Well, uh, look, um, 
you know, I appreciate your coming. I appreciate, uh, appreciate that you're here because you're making an effort. And I know that everybody's busy, but, you know, uh, but this course, uh, as, I, I, as I told you, is for free, is for free, and we have to take advantage of it. You know, mm -hmm. since the course is free, uh, we, have to, we have to be wise, you know. Why would you leave this course and go somewhere else and pay? And it, if you go somewhere else and pay, let me tell you, you will still have to work. You will still be busy. And the worst part is that you're paying. So it, it so you make your time. This is more about self-commitment. It's more about self-commitment in, organ, in organization. Everybody's busy. I understand everybody's busy, but we got to make some time. Yes. Hey, yes. look, uh, uh, we were just about to check some extra, some extra vocabulary, uh, vocabulary about, uh, about uh, the production line. We just saw uh, Ford's production line, which, is, which was really good, very interesting. But now we'll check some general, uh, general vocabulary for the production line. Let's see what it entails, what, what, uh, what are the elements of it. It's somewhere here and uh, over here. Yeah, okay, great. So look, and we'll also learn about processes of, uh, of production. So what is the objective of this activity, please, uh, Shane? The greatest tip to assemble a product. Yes, all right, good. That is the, that is the, that is the, 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 the process. That is the, that is assemble. the, Mm -hmm. What meaning of assemble teacher? to Excuse assemble? Me. To assemble means uh, means it's a to verb. yeah, it's a verb that means to put together the the parts. For example, last time I was telling you about this microphone. Can you see my microphone over here? So yeah. it, they you know it takes some steps to assemble it. Like you know they put on the screws um, and they then the, to put the parts together with uh with whom was it with uh with, what's your name uh with Iris, we practiced uh how to assemble a bicycle right uh Iris? assemblare mm -hmm. exactly to put the parts together yeah use your mm -hmm. yeah 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 much much like a puzzle true much like a puzzle so it's like putting the parts together putting the parts together and uh, that is that is mostly what it is uh, what it is about mm -hmm. that is mostly what it is about so we will we'll uh, we'll work on this and uh, yeah I was asking you before have you ever visited or gone to an assembly line to assembly plant have you gone to a bit factory and see how they put things together how they make a product how they uh, make, for example, a computer or shoes or whatever product. Have you have you been to one? Yes, I I have been. I have been. <laughs> really? To which one, Romulo? Tell us, please. Uh, uh, when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. <laughs> I lived in, in La Union, sit a part of La Union. Yeah. Because I, I visited uh, some manufacturer that processes the seafood. Oh, it's a kind of the assembly line. Because uh, 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 the similar with uh, that uh, prepare the the, the package uh, and um, and. Uh, weight uh, the product uh, this is a uh, different stuff mm -hmm. and uh, but the this, 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 the 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 assembly light is uh i i can see the same the, the same uh, uh, uh -huh. concept 
All right, the same concept as in, as in the Ford and the meat factory, right? Yeah, the, the, the seafood factory. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. All right. So it was it was a seafood factory, right? Good. Good. And uh, what? Uh, anybody else? Anybody else who's been to an assembly line to or to a factory and you see how they make things? I went to Bimbo's. Yeah. When I, I, when I was I, a kid. I have been. Wh to which one, Iris? Um, when I was in a in a school, mm -hmm. we visited the Coca Cola plant. And okay. For me, that was amazing. I I only have a uh, twelve years maybe, but I I remember the noisy and um the towns and towns the bottles, uh, uh -huh. it's moving in the in the the trill 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 drill. <laughs> the treadmill. Treadmill, yeah. It's for me that was amazing. Okay. And yeah. right now, um, I go to visit the, um, the plant, the textile plant, textile plants. Uh -huh. we, we made and ink the, the textile. All righty. Good, good. Good. Uh -huh. Interesting. So, uh, so uh, in a textile plant and the, and the, and the also, let's see, which other parts. Uh, so, how about you, Shane? Shane, have you been to another assembly line or or to an to a factory? Shane, are you there? Okay, let me. Yeah, Shane. Oh. Go on. I uh, know. Describe the steps. No, no, I'm, ask, I'm asking you if you've been to a, to a factory before in your life. I don't get it. No, have you been to a factory? Have you ever visited a factory where they uh, make... Have you ever visited an assembly plant mm -hmm. in your own words? How is an assembly line different from a product production line? Yeah, we'll discuss that in just a minute. But I'm asking you if you've ever been to an assembly plant or to a production line, to a factory. Have you visited, for example, Coca-Cola's factory and see how they put things together? Have you been there? Hello? Shane? Hello? Okay, uh, never mind. Let, let's just continue. So you, you've been, uh, now, look, here we have a little, a little question that probably we have, we have to discuss together. What is the difference between uh, an assembly line and a production line? Look, in here, in the previous uh, discussion we just had, we talked about a uh, production line of shampoo where they you know make shampoo and here we're talking about a production line where people make cars an, an assembly line sorry an assembly line where people make cars so uh any difference any difference uh between between that any difference between that? In the in the in the production line, we saw an example of how to make a of how to make a, a shampoo. And here, in an assembly line, we saw an example of how people make cars. So, in your own words, what is the difference between these two things? Anybody? Hello? Take a guess, take a guess. Production line, shampoo. And uh, here in an assembly line, cars. What do you think, what do you think is, uh, is the, 
is a different. Just take a wild guess, all right? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be right, but it. Uh, you just take a guess. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. <laughs> mm -hmm. at, at the, I think at the the pro, pro, production light and the, the difference that in the assembly light, the assembly light uh, uh, mm -hmm. use a more uh, machine. All right. Yeah, it you use more machines. That's one point. I like it. Thank you. Let's keep going. That that's a starter. Good. Any other difference? Uh, I think Anna Lillian was about to was about to say one. Yes, I'm going to tell you this one. Uh, the production line is uh, is using a, a machine, but the ensembling is like mm -hmm. a video. Do you remember some people is work to ensemble a parts of the cars? And yes. I think uh, in the in the ensemble line, uh, there are going to work more people. Yeah, more more people working uh -huh. there. People, uh huh. Like All a right. video, I remember. Like in video. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right. Good. Good. Like it. So, uh, so the, you see more people in here. All right. Yes. And uh, I think the, the, the yeah, process, go ahead. The the process line is like whole process. Mm hmm. Um. Because we talk about the quality control and in different steps, and right. the ensemble lines mm -hmm. is uh, relate to to the product sadly. To the product, what you said? Yeah, it, it is um, only the parts of, uh -huh. of the product. So, so in an assembly line. In a in a in a production line, people make a product, right? In an assembly line, they 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 put it together, right? They put together different parts. Like uh, for example, in the car, all right. Like uh, for example, in the cars, they they uh, in the car factory, they put different parts of the car together, all right. And that's a that's the biggest difference. That's the biggest difference between those uh, these uh, two things these three things very good guys very good and uh, um, yeah Omar I think you have an opinion too go ahead are yeah are you related uh, um, manufacturing shampoo and and cars yes that really? is what we uh, that is, that uh, is okay. what, in a in look in a production line in a production line they make uh, shampoos, all right. This, here we we we're talking about a production line, and the in the in the steps to make a shampoo. And here in an assembly line, we saw an example of how people make cars in Ford. So does it give you any hint on any hint or of uh, what the difference is between car and between the, the assembly line and production line? Does it give you an idea? Um, uh, yeah, I have a, uh, an idea because the the um, labors is uh, between the the uh, make a uh, shampoos and and make a uh, cars uh, is very different because uh, uh, the people use in in the manufacturing of uh, cars uh, um, using. Uh, tools, tools, and motors, and mm -hmm. gasoline, and very different of the product of the shampoo. Shampoo is only uh, aromas, como se dice? Scents, scents. Scents, uh, uh, yeah. uh -huh. it's very different in the lines of production uh -huh. uh, thing. I gotta teach it. <laughs> you got it now. You got it now, right? What What is it, Romulo? 
Yes, yeah, so the the sample light is a, a lot the step by step that the the build the the, the final product. Uh -huh. No uh -huh. change in the pro okay change the process, but uh, maintain your form or the basically the uh, basic form. All right. Because yeah. I, no, the, the the next step not not change. It doesn't change. For example, when the, the, uh, uh, we saw or, or we watching the the step mm -hmm. on the, the different part for the assembly the the the, the bicycle. Mm -hmm. No change it in the process change. because right. of the, the frame. Mm -hmm. And in the shampoo uh, or other products, uh, the 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 product light, the form, we can we can change. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. Good. I think that that's that's one point. So it looks like it looks like guys in a in a production line probably we make we make uh, pre-made products, like uh, or or we pack and bottle products. Right, like in a probably in a say in a, in a bakery, right? In a bakery, they 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 have a production line where they make uh, cakes and and and, uh, and pastries and and bread. In a bakery, they have a production line. They have a raw material that they mix and then uh, they they uh, they uh, uh, they mix it. They they uh, dough it and they they do everything necessary to make bread. But in a production line, in a in a in an assembly line, is like uh, when people make cars or motorcycles or bikes. You know where different pieces are put together by humans and machines. I think that's mostly the difference. Hey, look, we're gonna check on what these things are. All right, what all of these things are. But uh, since there are I think there are more than four people. Let's do this. Uh, two people are in charge of telling us what a conveyor belt is, and that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be uh, Shane and uh, let's see, Shane. Oh, we actually have four people in here, so that's cool. So Shane, uh, you're gonna tell us what uh, what a conveyor belt belt is. So you look it up. You can go to a dictionary or find an image from Google and share it with us. All right. And, oh, gonna... mm -hmm. and uh, Anna Lillian, you're going to tell us about bulk production. What is bulk production? All right. And bulk, bulk production. Okay. Yeah, bulk production. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then. Uh, Omar, you tell us about uh, manual labor. And finally, Aries tells us about machine hours. All right. All right, good. So I'm, I'm going to give you uh, Three minutes to look for your to look for your definitions. Okay, so go ahead and find your definitions, please. And uh, and if you also find uh, find uh, pictures of these things, please uh, you can go ahead and share them. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's go over it. Let's go for it. Teacher for music, conveyor, conveyor yeah, belt. Yeah, conveyor belt. Are you ready? Do you have it? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see what, what what it is about. So share, please. Okay. Let me see.
can you cannot share the, this? No puedo compartir esta pantalla porque otro participante okay, está ocupado. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay, let's see. What is a conveyor belt? It's charging. I mean, it's loading. Can you see? I see a white picture. Can the others? Can the others see? Yeah, I see. I see your screen. Uh, not anymore. Try again. Try again. Do it again. And now. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. A conveyor belt. All right. Okay. So, uh -huh. let's uh, see. Conveyor what it belt is. is the carrying medium of a belt conveyor system, mm -hmm. often short to belt con conveyor. A belt conveyor system is uh, one of many types of conveyor system. A belt conveyor system consists of two or more pulleys, sometimes referred to as drums, with a cloth loop of carrying medium, the conveyor belt that rotate about them. Mm -hmm. One or both of the pulleys are forwarded, moving the belt and the material of the belt forward. The forward pulley is called the dry pull, while the unforwarded pulley mm -hmm. is called uh, the Hitler pulley. All right, good. There are two yeah, sorry for sorry for interrupting you. Now let's stop. Can you show us uh, show us a picture of a conveyor belt, please? Uh -huh. Can you see? Yes, yes, I see it. Where have you seen something similar, guys? Where have you seen something similar? Mm hmm. Hey, you guys, where have you seen something similar? I have, I have seen something similar in uh, Plan de la Laguna. Yeah, they, they have like this in the factories. So it's, it's very common to see it there in those factories. Any other point, any other place where you have seen that, guys? Industrial Park. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, in an industrial park. Yeah, great. Thanks for sharing, Shane. Let's, uh, let's continue with somebody else, please. Uh, Iris, have you found yours? Or uh, let's see what's the next step. Uh, bulk production. Let's see, I, I think you put some, something in the chat. So let's see what it is, what it is about. Okay, I stopped the sharing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stop sharing, please. Because uh, probably she will share. So machine hour. And uh, here we have to talk about bulk production. So Anna Lillian, are you ready? All right, let's check what machine hour is. Okay. Mm -hmm. um... All right, tell us please, Aries. Um, okay. okay. I find this one. Mm -hmm. and, um, All right, and let's see what you what you put on the chat. Machine hour uh, says, this is, uh, is a measurement used to apply factory overhead to manufactured goods. It, it is, is most ap uh, applicable, applicable, applicable. In, applicable in machines, intensive environments, where the amount of time spent in processing by a machine is the largest activity upon which overhead allocation can be based. Mm -hmm. and, and in this example, we saw the, the, the tractor. And I think 
is um, I understand is like uh, the 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 life of the machines. Maybe right. you need to use for hours. Uh, how how long time the 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 machine can work in for day? Mm -hmm. All right. How long did how long a machine? Yeah, I like it. Simple words is how long a machine works a day. Simple words. Good. That will do it. Thank you. That's good. That's good. You see, she she used some analyzing in there. Like it. Uh, Omar, what's yours? Okay, I share my screen. Mm -hmm. View. Okay. Okay. Let me if you see my my screen. I can see it. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, um, simple words is a uh, manual work. My uh, manual labor is like a a work a work uh, manual work mm -hmm. only because many uh, represent uh, any words then use a physical work your 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 body. Your in, in, in not only your body in, in case it's mostly literally work done with the hands uh -huh. uh, because uh, yes because the hands and uh, you you put uh, your um, your feels the feelings uh, and and many words uh, you put uh, you you um, require trainer certification license apprenticeships right. and sometimes a college degree to qualify wow. mm -hmm. yeah right. and, and, and i i found a um imagine for that Imagines. for example uh manuals words for example is uh engineering or um constructors no sé cómo se dice constructors mm -hmm. constructors uh, many of the different uh, kind of work, for example, uh, um, mm, mm, in this case, I see only <laughs> work with your hands. But that's good. That's good. So the manual, manual, uh, manual labor refers to the to the manual activities that employees do. Uh, do. Oh, oh, scratch. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you remember that when we look, uh, when we watch uh, Ford's video, people were doing some things. I mean, machines did some things, but also people did other things. So, yeah. that's that's the that's the manual labor. Thank you, uh, Ramalo. You got anything else to share? I don't have uh, any any topic. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't have any. Sorry. Well, uh, you will help us in the next one. Anna Lilian is yours. Both yes, production. Teacher. All right. Yes, teacher, but I can't. Um, no pude compartirlo en la compu o en el grupo. Pero oh. se lo pasé. No sé si tal vez. Can you make me a favor? And uh, can you se lo mande al chat? Oh yeah. Let me, no sé por qué no, no llega. Uh, I'll make I'll try to make it. I Please. have to open my WhatsApp here. WhatsApp web. All right, let's enter. Yeah, I, I still have to send something. Give me a second. So Just, bulk production. Yeah, uh -huh. that's yours, right? Bulk uh, bulk production. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna read. Yeah, tell us it, tell us about it. I'm okay. about to share your image. Thank you, teacher. The mm -hmm. book production is the final product begin producer based on the actual order requirements. When we refer to book favorite or book yardage, that is the rewarding actual production fabrics. It is not sample yardage made in sample machinery. This is the example. I I find this uh, imagine image, image about uh, image about uh, the bulk production. 
is mm -hmm. uh, in simple words is a is a final result final result of the production uh -huh. of production and uh, yes. and it's uh when it follows an order right when it follows an order like here mm -hmm. it says I'm, I'm trying to trying to get yes. this one is the final product being produced based on on the actual, on the actual order. order of requirements mm -hmm. all right good good so it's like when it follows that chain of uh, of steps and it finally you have your product i like it very good very good so uh now uh there are there is another set of words that i want you to practice and it's uh this one in the we will we'll learn you know like basic uh basic uh assembling vocabulary probably not for factory but probably even for home okay good weld what do you think this weld word means anybody weld what does that mean to join to pieces to pieces of metal or plastic by hitting it so the right. edges come together okay great to weld yeah well that is it is to join a piece of metal by hitting all right good so now you know how to how to, how to say soldadura verdad or, yeah or soldar in english i got you well done thank you hey how about screw Look at this. I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the 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 gestures, and you tell me which one it is, like which word it is, and the, the definition. All right. So then we go with uh, screw, and it goes like this. What is it? Go ahead. In Go Spanish, teacher. Screw. Look at me. Look at me. I'm gonna make it, and uh, and it goes like this. It goes like this. Yeah. Let me see. How do you hint? Like, uh, yes. Like this. Like set this a phone. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> there you go. You there you. Miss, you missing a tornillo. <laughs> <laughs> a screw. A screw. Uh -huh. Screw is the word. Uh, uh -huh. Screw is the word. Yeah. So there, there you have it. You have it. Screw. Screw is the one. Like it. And uh, where? what's the definition of screw? A pointed piece of metal with a twisted part and call it screw. Mm -hmm. Instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or good together good all right wood together all right good so yeah that's it hey well done romulo so let's uh let's see that this is to screw okay all right good the, uh, the screw is the the tool all right el desorneador they, they call it like that all right with twisted part, it call a thread instead of hitting with a hammer, you push it. Oh, it's the screw itself, el tornillito, ¿verdad? All right, mm -hmm. porque el tornillo se llama screw driver. Screw mm -hmm. driver. Screw driver, así como el del carro. Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, what about uh, next word? We have uh, tiding. All right. Well, tighten. What do you think tighten means? What do you think that tighten means? That word tighten means? It's a... Uh, it's a... Mm -hmm. uh, to adjust or only a, a stretch and anything on... Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, a screw up. Mm -hmm. Secure, consolidate. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. To tighten, tighten. Uh, uh, no, separate. 
Aquí se queda apretar, no sé. Ajá, there you go. Ah, pero no sé cómo decir. You know, Omar, you Playing know, more, Omar. Ajá. <laughs> you know, you know. You got it, you got it, man. You yeah, got it. Really. You can do it, you can do it. In these last two minutes, you can do it. All right. Tell us, what is it? I tell you. Okay, yeah. The second one, teacher, to turn an object as a scream until it's tight and it cannot be turned anymore. Yeah, and for example, and yeah, and that's to make true. or be gone tie or tight. Tie because it doesn't move in anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so with your screwdriver, uh -huh. with your mm -hmm. screwdriver, you do this. Okay, you do this. All right, so that's uh -huh. it. Good. So we have screw is the action, right? Until uh -huh. it, is, it is tight. This All right. one. Uh -huh. All right, good. And uh, let's see. We have a uh, we have uh, we have so that gotta be number three. three here over here. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, I think the screw one is the action. The action to the action to screw is different from a screw. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, a, a screw is 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 this number five. So we have a we have a a little problem here. So that probably mm -hmm. is number five. Okay, number five. All right, good. And uh, it's a pointed piece of metal. Now, next one, uh, we have to find what, um, let me see, where are we? Oh, to adjust. You change well, teacher. Say again? You change uh, well? Not... Let me see. Weld? No, weld is yes. still here. Join pieces of metal by heating. No, but you change. Uh, I change. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, uh, let's start over. <laughs> let's start <laughs> over. Yeah, number one is weld, which is to join pieces of metal. Yeah. Right? Number mm -hmm. two, number two, screw is the action, right? Is the action mm -hmm. to. Uh, it's to okay. attach a surface to another using a screw. So that would be number two goes at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. It goes at the end because it is the action, not the noun. You see my point? Yes, of course. No, mm -hmm. it's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. right. And, and the, uh, is the num there's the first one. Adjust, yeah. Uh -huh. Adjust is that them. one. All right, it will be number uh -huh. four. To put something in its right place. All right, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to do this. I have to run the last attendance one more time just for the ones who were not here. All right. So remember this vocabulary and uh, we'll practice it next class as well. Also, this vocabulary is in your, is in your platform. Please start com uh, complete the platform by tomorrow because unit three has to be finished by tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Unit three? Yes. Unit we three. Have to Mm -hmm. So yes. the the other week we have to work with the unit four and midterm and that's it and it's over uh -huh. all over. Oh yes, hey you guys. Uh, let me let me just <laughs> do that. Let me just run it in this very super quick before you go. In the case uh -huh. there was uh, somebody somebody new, which I think it didn't happen, but anyways. Uh, so Mari Jose Enrique de la O Salazar no estuvo and. Uh, Iris todavía está, sí. María Belén y Claudia Evelyn tampoco están. Eh, Arabella Parada no está. Gloria Elías Beatriz no está. Gloria Beatriz Elías tampoco. Mario Enríquez, Mario Enrique Márquez Alaya no está tampoco. Adolfo Jonathan no está. Aleida Elizabeth Juárez tampoco. Y Camila Minero. Okay, thank you very much for, for joining today, guys. It was very, I appreciate your commitment. 
and I hope you all have a good night. All right. I'll see you. All, I'll see you all on Monday, and please complete your platform by tomorrow. I will send you a, a quick until reminder. Until what? Until what hours, teacher? Oh, until what time? What? Uh, by noon. Ideally by noon. By noon. Ideally okay. by noon, because I have in the afternoon I I present my record to my to my coordinator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so try to tengo do dos tareas. Tengo la plataforma y tengo un clase de inglés para mí que llenar este libro. Oh, sorry about that, man. Sorry about that. But it is what it is. And you have too much work on me, too. Yeah. On me, but you, you, are dis you, you have discipline, okay? Yeah, yeah, you're a disciplined man. You're a disciplined person, so you I can, think it won't, be, it won't be much you trouble for you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a nice night. You All, right. You All right, you have a good night. Take care, take care, you guys. Have a good weekend. You too. Goodbye.